sentimental, but I kind of prefer when bikers are scary. <laughs> oh, oh, Colin, she's just beautiful, huh? I don't have to thank you. Just take care. She's my baby. She does not to ten in half an hour. <laughs> she's a demon. I hope that monstrosity isn't still going to be taking up valuable space when Louise's new family arrive. Monstrosity? I love you know I'm on a diet. Don't mind her, she's not very good with grown-ups. Can I have a go? Please. I'll be careful, I promise. Of course you can, Tracy. Yes. Just show me your driving license and we'll be away! Ah uh, ha ha, meet Duke, King of Comedy. Um, so, uh, Amber's being thrown out. No, nope. sir, it's a meeting to review Amber's position. But we've still got lots of work to do with her. Bouncer, don't make this into your problem. Hello, Bouncer. Are we ready? Mm. And I thought you were nice. Shall we? Ah, Jenny, Elaine. I've been expecting you. Look, Amber, I'm fully prepared to admit that it's partly my fault. I thought we'd be able to make a difference. Maybe I was wrong. I thought we'd be able to help you help yourself. Maybe I was wrong. You thought you were good at your job. Maybe you were wrong. It's just that we don't think you've been trying hard enough to get on with people. Chocolate thief! Go play in the traffic! <laughs> and you two have got spying on me as well! Don't know what you mean. What we're saying is that maybe you'd be happier elsewhere. I'll think about it. Me or has this room just suddenly become very cold? Typical. They don't even have the courage to make a simple decision. At least somewhere else I might get treated like a grown up. Yeah, a grown up criminal. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they want. They want me to give them a good reason for throwing me out. Well, far be it for me to disappoint anybody. Nightmare. But 
What about all the good times? All the fights and disappointments and people laughing at you at school because you wear rubbish clothes and live in a stinky children's home with... Stinky children. I don't stink. I smell like cornflakes. It just, it just came to life like, like it was invaded by aliens. It's all right, Bouncer, he knows. What's the verdict, Colin? Oh, no worries, mate. Just call it natural wear and tear, all right. See? I told you it was nothing serious. She's just having a bit of fun. You should give Amber a break. Hi, babe. Yeah, it's me. Uh, you best bring me Category C toolkit. Yeah, it's that bad. See, Amber's a lovely kid deep down. It's just, if we spend too much time trying to sort one person out, it's not fair on everyone else. But I don't mind. Yes, you do, Bouncer. You just don't realise it yet. Hi, Saliba. Hi, Duke. Thanks, love. Amber? Are you purposely trying to get yourself thrown out? Wow. Is it yours? Do I look like a girl? <laughs> this is yours? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Fancy a spin? Yeah. I don't think so. Duke, please. Well, she'll need a helmet. There's insurance and, and, and health and safety. Not to mention the fact that she's supposed to be being punished. Oh, it's okay, love. Full of forgiveness, me. Take good care of her. I promise. Well, I, I really don't think it's a good idea. I mean, look at them! Well, she has passed her advanced test. Duke. Don't worry, son. She hasn't had an accident for uh, ooh, weeks. Well, I wash my hands for the whole thing. Hi, Lou. Hi, Tracy. Almost ready to go. Can't wait. Oh, just remembered. Mr. and Mrs. Morris phone, they've made a mistake. They want me, not you. <laughs> um. Never mind, Lou. I know what it's like. The number of times I've had to say goodbye to this place. I should give my own revolving door. I'm sorry, Tracy. It's just, I wanted to go without any fuss, without anyone getting upset. No, that was never going to happen. Not here. People get upset when Duke buys the wrong kind of beans. <laughs> no, you should make as much fuss as possible. Is that all your dumping ground rubbish? It's just stuff that reminds me of stuff. We should have a ceremony. Set fire to it all. No. Better not. Wait. Oh, yes! Well, we come to lot 12 in the Louise Govan Leaving Auction. An exercise book containing some very disturbing <laughs> drawings of members of the Dublin Ground staff. What am I bid? I'll take charge of that, thank you very much. Sold to the lovely lady in the cheap cardigan. <laughs> and on to our next item, a monster mask. <gasps> well, well, well. Very nice. I'm afraid that this item has suddenly been withdrawn from the sale. What? What? No, I wanted that. I, I, I can't just do taking that. my feet. And onto our last item, a small buttered teddy bear named Tony. Tony Bear. I could not be serious. Uh, anyway, what am I bid? Dolly. He's cute. Any advances on cute? No. I mean, I don't want to give him away. I remember. It was a present from the staff. It was her first Christmas. She cried for hours. I... I don't want to leave. Louise! You're talking like a crazy person. You have to leave. Yeah, I, I mean, if someone as boring as you can get busted, then there's hope for all of us. What? Tracy? Tracy? Tracy. Thanks, Soraya. 
way there is amazing. You're welcome. What's happening here then? No, one of the kids is leaving. And your family. Goody two shoes tight. The fact that people miss when they go. Wouldn't they miss you? You'll come round for dinner on Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> and then you're not going to forget me. Stacy, isn't it? Stacy Baxter? Hey! Are you sure you should be doing that? Celine the Payne's car, that horrible social worker. Oh, what, the one that's going to decide if you get sent somewhere else? Do they have children's homes in the North Pole? <laughs> Look, Colin, um, I'm really sorry about the mower. It's OK. It's good as new. Amber? There's a perfect family out there for everyone. And the hardest thing is finding them. Yes, Tracy, and you always tell me I'm talking bobbins. They look like... like an ordinary girl with ordinary grown-ups. The ordinary girl is Amber. How weird is that? You know, I think I've just had a brilliant idea. Simply everything around here. 